The purpose of this book is clear. Which is telling the Basque people, you have the right to be free, you need to be free, but you have to be free for something, and that something is exactly enriching the European culture and enriching yourself from it. There is no more glorious future for a people than being the home of a cultural renaissance. One day, we received some news about a group of young people that tried to derail a train. They had good will, but it seemed that they also had great ignorance about the theories and practices of the Revolutionary War, and the police of the fascist state dismantled this group of patriots. It was a new dawn in the dark night to which the ineffectiveness of the official nationalism had led to Basque sentiment. The dark night of nationalism was the clear division between two generations, between two mental conceptions that could never understand each other. Basque nationalism had been defeated in the battlefields but it became victorious in the hearts of men. This Basque generation had to form its own ideals. No nationalist rebirth came from the outside. The strong sentiment of the Basque people over the centuries rose again. And these new men searched for patriotic nourishment in the example of other countries such as Israel, Cyprus, Tunisia, Algeria, Indochina, countries that suffered colonialism. When I examined the conditions that in recent years led our nation, I began to study the theories of those who called themselves nationalists in Vascania and I compared them with those who in other parts of the world had been the creative force of a national dynamic that led to independence. Ireland was a disastrous case of a people to whom freedom was not very useful, it just brought more denationalization. We had to study the problem and the causes of our defeat. We couldn't just blame the national persecution, since when this happens and the national spirit is alive, it only makes the spirit stronger. Every structure necessarily has an organizing criterion and based on it, a hierarchy. Nobody should accuse me of saying that anarchists are destroyers of all types of society, because it is false, I admit that among anarchist political philosophies there is such a wealth of political systems, thought by geniuses, and most of the times a hierarchy of social functions is always assumed. If man is therefore above all a creator of culture, at the tip of the social pyramid that must be organized, especially to end the dichotomy between the current trends of capitalism, that is, individual capitalism and Marxo-capitalism, falsely called socialism, there is no other solution than to bring light to the minds of men so that each one can realize in his own brain that indispensable and necessary revolution of concepts, which should take him out of that impasse tendency of the struggle between these two awful tendencies of capitalism. Western capitalism against Marxist capitalism, that from the beginning of the modern age, especially with the birth of the Lutheran Calvinist thesis and Jesuitism, they are causing so much damage to humanity, having destroyed the birth of a new humanity, which began in Italy with the Renaissance. As in every structured body, each cell receives a mission before it is born, since each cell has breaks and indicators that predestinate it to a function. And in the human social structure, it is proven that nature has destined man to different functions each with his own configuration. The main problem nowadays is that with the creation of the social pyramid of capitalist Jesuitic inspiration, and establishing a structural system ordered by the factor of capital and economy, being this structure the Jesuit Protestant mentality that from the 17th century has been inspiring Europe. Many of the nationalisms are from the underdeveloped, socially oppressed countries, since all political action flows more easily on a background of discontent, persecution and humiliation than on an economic well-being. In cases of denationalization, the blame falls mainly, and almost always, on the members of the denationalized ethnic group. Most frequently, the members of the oppressor nation are not fully at fault. There's no state authority nor force capable of denationalizing a country that has the strong will to carry on with its personality. The extermination of the masters and agents of denationalization is an obligation that nature demands to every man. It's better to die as men than to live as beasts denationalized by Spain and France.
A nationalist movement that seeks to be somehow effective must represent a task, an ideal that holds a future, around which men gather mentally and materially, believing that they are all united, by one factor or another, to that national task. The government of Azcati was nothing but a Spanish regional government of the Basque country, the representative of the Spanish authority in our country. Under the first provisional president, Mr. Aguirre, we all believed that, given its vitality, the Basque nation would find through this government, Malgratout, its independence. The great merit of his successor, Mr. Ilzaola, was to take away this illusion. He told us bluntly, that the government of Oskiti was something purely Spanish, in Caracas they reacted against his statements. The declaration of Caracas marks a milestone in Basque nationalism. Our illusions are over. Now we think about real facts. We must see things as they are, that the government of Oskiti is a Spanish regional government, which has nothing to do with the Basque problem. A new approach on, for science-based nationalism should, first of all, give value to the national language, as it deserves, demand to its followers that they learn it and master it. Second of all, it must be a progressive force that seeks evolution, if it remains conservative we would become stagnant mentally and economically, and we would never obtain our freedom. Finally, we have to consider it the Basque conflict on the ethnic-economic basis that nowadays world requires. According to Engels, it is utopic to guess based in existing situations, how current antagonisms will be solved. A dialectical exposition that dared so, would deny its own basis. Our examination of the future Vasconia can only contain ideas, projects and deductions based on the current conditions. It is utopic to make affirmations of what is going to happen in the future. What we can say is that in no case can we impose on our people a system that comes from the premises of other peoples. Each nation is a geographical or historical picture in which a system is developed. It is very important be to repopulate the plain lands with Basque people, so we must find a way to promote a return of former emigrants to the homeland. This movement that we call it so must call the Basques living in America, Australia in the capitals of the oppressor states, or other places to return to their homeland. I have always thought that the highest factor inside the definition of the homo is the quality of being creator of culture, which according to modern ethnologists is what distinguishes it from animals, although in no case I want to deny the importance that has biology. Therefore, leaving the quality of Zoan Platicon in a secondary role, I thought that a vision of man in general, and of the Basque man in particular, had to be based on those two pillars of culture and biology. The activity of the creator of culture must be driven towards the dignification of the ethnos, and only in this way we can contribute to the progress of humanity. The progress towards a more complete, perfect, cultured man, with higher knowledge, a man who can to enjoy of the beauty of nature and beauty created by the human genius. There is plenty of evidence in modern biology showing that all men are different, even it annoys the supporters of the pleb, even within the unit of homo all men are different, and that life is itself a structure, with life fighting against cosmic death, which is entropy, the noblest creation of life on our planet, which is man, it is also a structure in itself. And its society. The development of human thought is a process of cultural nature. That's why a society's configuration can become an environment that destroys the good qualities that an individual might have brought to the world. That's the greatest danger of the tyrannical societies, in which the human person is not respected. There is a tendency too widespread to match cultural ancestry and philological ancestry and then deduce axiomatic consequences from a premise that is false. Based on the fact that the Basque language is not of Indo-European descent, they try to deduce a fortiori that it is not part of the Greco-Latin culture either. This is absolutely false. The Illiberi will be a paradise for children. Parents free from the pettiness of everyday life will love each other and love their offspring, and they will be sure that the community of the Illiberi will watch over their future. Wayunamuno, Pio Baroja. Ascu, etc. were not nationalists and, 
in turn, but people from Bilbao who did nothing else than speak in Spanish badly about their neighbors were nationalists. I no longer had any doubt that Basque nationalism had to have a flagrant defect that had scared away great part of us Caria's best sons. I understood, then, that the approach of the Basque case had suffered huge errors. First, the national case was still being raised as a purely state issue. Second, the Basque case had been subordinated in such a way to a religiosity that made the Basque people lose all vivification. Third, the Basque national case had been reduced to a beggar regionalism that asked the oppressor state something that had to be rightfully demanded. The inherent individualism of the Basconish, as to any other country from the mountains, prevents any association that looks after a common purpose, goal. That's why, in the history of the Basconish, we seldom see the Basconish unite in order to reach something, rather than to defend themselves against something. The different races that inhabit Europe are spread out in different proportions around different parts of Europe, and from the different racial, somatic or psychic qualities, some interests arise, which make individuals see life in different ways. Whenever many ethnicities live inside the same state, the ethnic group that created the latter is called the nation-state, and it determines the historical destinies. It's almost always an ethnic group that acquired inner conscious earlier and that expanded, thus building a state. All the factors will not be necessary, and it may be the case that this constitutive feeling of nationality is based on only one factor. But a nation aware of its personality will try, in every case, to strengthen and increase the number of national factors. And speaking of absurd extremes, it can be said that a black Congolese that has been educated in Uskara from a young age, who only speaks Basque and who has only lived amongst Basque people is more Basque than a son of us Kualdunes, who only has Basque surnames, but who ignores Uskara. It is false the idea of a national cause from the historical point of view, and such has been the Basque cause been explained. The Basques do not have the right to independence because in previous centuries they were independent, but because they form an ethnic group. Those Navarres and Biscayans who, wearing the red beret, defended the freedom of Oscaria, were the true sons of the Basque people. Although the liberals wanted to present the Carlists as rather a grade, it was nothing more than propaganda weapons wielded by a denationalized and outcast bourgeois class corrupted by an oppressive liberalism. In no case can we speak of Basque racial unity, except that Basques are Europoids and members, therefore, of the same race that populates Europe, North Africa and a large part of Asia. It would be wrong to take anti-racism to the extreme and to affirm that the race does not matter. A mixture of Basques with black elements would distort the Basque race and we could not consider blacks as Basque. The language is, without a doubt, the most important factor of all, since it has even been said that wherever a different language is spoken, a different nationality exists. That's why the abrupt fracture that happens when a language is switched breaks the tradition of a country. And the change can be so profound that it can be said that the country that stops speaking its language has lost its nationality. The obfuscation that affects the man of the country about what is and isn't practical, often leads him to his own misfortune. The Basque language wasn't apparently practical, but it was forgotten that it was the most solid defense for freedom, with and through Basque, the libertarian direction of our country was transmitted. Language, the link of society, is born from literary tradition. In this case, the Basque language is found in Uscaria in the form of classical Lepertian. Joan Eixiberia was the one who first saw this need for an Uscara that served as a model and who proposed this to Exular. In this way, a literary Uscara, a symbol of the unity of Vasconia, like the language of Exular, has its basis in the most genuine Basque literary tradition, must also be the link that unites the Basque people with the universal culture and all the Basque language writers who dominate, understand and feel the Basque language agree with this.
The contribution of the Basque people must be to know how to digest and give its personality to the European culture. No one lives for himself, all entities live from the outside and it is absurd to take out again what the language took from the outside. Then the Basque language, the spiritual path through which we are linked with our ancestors, the treasure that kept burning the flames of freedom, equality and fraternity will be brighter than ever and those words of the bard of Arexo may become a reality, Imantas abils is in fructua. The Basque form of ownership, rejecting the Isabutendi, must be proclaimed from the first day. The property will pass to the commune or to the federation of communes when necessary. Rigid forms will never be established because, as Proudhon rightly said, all ideas are erroneous contradictory and irrational if they are taken in an exclusive and absolute acceptance. As for the workers who come to work with us in our land, they are welcome if they come as friends, if they come to collaborate with us to improve the lives of those who live in our land, if they want to become good citizens of Oscaria, they will be our brothers and their children, they will be children of our common homeland Vascania with all their rights, but if they come as conquerors, if they come as an arm of colonialism and spread their virus in our country, if they plan to denationalize our country, then, they are our enemies, they are agents of colonialism and they are at the service of national expoliation, they are children of the same mother as the exploitative capitalists, of whom they complain. Our struggle for national liberation is at the same time a struggle for social liberation, we will not tolerate social or national spoliation. The supreme authority will be chosen by the community of men and women who work in the Illibari. The Bildser, which is the supreme authority, will appoint a secretariat to lead the administration. Life will be shared, and meals and discussions will be common. So, the contribution that the Basque people can make to humanity will be to be an example in the pursuit of the ideals of liberation of the individual, the commune, the nation, society on a basis of respect, of freedom association and federalism. The nature of Basque institutions has always been based on a respect for individuality, knowing that the objective is to keep plurality within unity, as is the vivifying form of Basque federalism. We must foresee the way to revive and give a rich and federal life to the future Basconia. Following the tradition will be a state governed by built Tsars, especially by communes. The Basque built Tsars were not true state organisms because, because of their idiosyncrasy, they were in the theoretical terrain in which there was no coercive imposition. With the creation of the modern state and the introduction of its basic ideas into the Basque country, the consequences were devastating for such a libertarian society. The state makes the governed become servants and degrades them. 